Oh my gosh, Luis Ortiz is looking like an absolute unit. In shape, looking fierce ahead of the Deontay the Bronze Bomber Wilder rematch. What up, Fight World? It's your boy Ego, and I'm back with some more boxing. Make sure you smash the like button. Also, subscribe to the channel for the latest and greatest in boxing. If you want to become part of the gang gang notification gang, please hit the bell icon. Shout out to the Super Chats, channel donations, the Venmo donations, and the Patreon family. We working. Now, heavyweight action next week. We are a little less than a week out. And I'm looking forward to it. Deontay Wilder versus Luis Ortiz. Let's jump straight into the mix. Make sure you guys smash the like button. Luis Ortiz, pictures released of him. And you guys see it in the thumbnail. The man is looking in shape and ready to go. This, this is something that people should pay attention to. You know, Wilder, at the end of the night, the fight's happening next Saturday. Make sure you order the pay-per-view. Next Saturday, Fox pay-per-view, MGM Grand. You know, at the end of the day, I, I respect Wilder. I respect Luis Ortiz. But we're going to see. I'm picking Wilder to win, but Luis Ortiz is no punk. And he's teamed up and teamed up with Larry Wade trying to get his strength and conditioning and his, his weight in order. And it's paid off. It's definitely paid off. The man looks phenomenal. They say um, he's, you know, just rewind the clock, if you will. And he's 40 years old, but he doesn't look it. Now, speaking of, let me, I'm not even going to talk too much about the, the BS, but old media, you know, they constantly talk about Luis Ortiz, lied about his age, he's 50 plus. The man is in shape. We already knew he could fight, but he's in shape. So it's funny to see, like, you know, out of shape reporters or, you know, just people, fans and stuff who ain't even in the shape Luis Ortiz is in couldn't go Logan Paul KSI rounds, you know, let alone. And I'm just talking about like sparring. I'm not even talking about an actual pro fight, you know, and they're like, oh, this guy's 50. And, you know, just saying a bunch of stuff. The man don't look 50. You know, he don't look 40 to me. He looks in shape. He's ready to go. He's part of the snack system. So. You know, he, he leaned down a lot from where we last seen him, the Christian Hammer fight or whatever. And he's getting his weight down, and it looks like it's paying off. Whatever training and strength and conditioning they got him going doing with the snack program, Larry Wade and his whole team, Team Ortiz, it looks to be working. This dude is a definite threat to any heavyweight. Be clear, he's a definite threat to any heavyweight. So um, respects to Wilder at the end of the night. People are going to be saying, wow, man, the Fury fight got messed up because Luis Ortiz won, you know, and Wilder, you you know, you you didn't have to do that. Or they're going to be like, wow, Wilder's a beast. Because if Wilder, listen, if Wilder go in there and knock this man out looking like this, gave him a second opportunity, face a boxing Wilder, the, the legend continues. This man is going to be like an urban legend with the power. You know, because Luis Ortiz looks dialed in and ready to go. And I don't think people actually I, I know they understand and I know they respect it. But, you know, you can look for the usual detractors to try to find something to complain about. Oh, this shouldn't be pay-per-view. Listen, I've stood next to Luis Ortiz. He is every bit of six, four. And he's in shape. He's has a 78 inch reach, so it's not like he has like the shortest stubby arms. He comes from the Cuban boxing school. He's enrolled in VADA, the clean boxing program, as he should, because obviously this is a WBC fight. Because I see a lot of just random talk online. You know, the man has like over a 75% knockout ratio. This is a good fight. You know, it's just what it is. Some people don't realize his amateur record is what it is his amateur pedigree coming up in, in cuba they said he had i'm trying to figure out um they said his amateur record is about 349 and 19 
which is insane for a heavyweight. You know, you have basically 350. That's a Gennady Golovkin type record at heavyweight. See, everybody praised Gennady Golovkin when he first um, took America by storm. But they say his record is 349 wins, 19 losses at heavyweight. So he's far more experienced than Wilder, who started boxing late. And he's dialed in, taking this fight serious. Dangerous fight. Much respect. If Wilder beats him again, watch watch his star power grow. He's definitely going to go viral because it, he's doing it to um, a respected guy here who's taking it serious. See, like, the thing is, Canelo, the previous face of boxing, that's no longer the face of boxing to me, is he's not making those moves. He's not denouncing the franchise champion. He's becoming it. He wants to be the franchise champion. He's not, you know, refuting it. Also, he fought Kovalev, who was almost stopped in his last fight right before he got the fight. Yeah, he moved up, so you give him some credit for moving up and wait, but you moved up and fight the the most wounded prey. You know, that's more scavenger vulture. Wilder is not fighting somebody. He's fighting someone that, to this day, to this day, nobody still wants to want smoke with, you know? So Wilder's just moving different than other people in his position. Wilder could be uppity and say, Oh my God, I'm making millions. I'm, I got the Tyson Fury's fight. And I think I think Ortiz is more dangerous than Tyson Fury just based on the southpaw stance, the fact that he hurt Wilder more than Tyson Fury. I never seen Tyson Fury really hurt him. And I, I was at that fight. You know what I'm saying? So based on Luis Ortiz's style, punching power, and the fluid, the fluidness of his punches, I, I definitely think Ortiz is more of a threat. And he has nothing to lose, you know. Ortiz is a little bit older than Tyson Fury and Wilder. So, you know, he knows this is probably his last hurrah, the title shot, because people aren't going to want to keep fighting this man, you know what I'm saying? Or they want Wilder to soften him up and beat him twice, and then maybe they'll fight him, you know. So Wilder is doing something, like, legendary. He's taking the risk. He's doing what he can for the fans. But I, I look for this to be a good fight. And I, I think on paper, it's definitely a dangerous fight. The man is ready. The boy got his own money. <laughs> Luis Ortiz look ready. And more often than not, you see the guy who's more technically sound can make the adjustments in the, in the rematch, like Mayweather, Maidana. But the interesting thing is the guy that's more technically, technically sound here is facing legendary fear of God power. So that's what makes Wilder exciting. We know Wilder's not going to be as, you know, technically sound, but he has the ultimate equalizer. He has fear of God power that it don't matter how much you strengthen, you know, do strength and condition. I seen Luis Ortiz lifting a 45 pound dumbbell with the little head the head contraption, you know, but ultimately Wilder's type of power. I feel like it don't matter. You can the, obviously you want to get in the best possible shape that you can, but the type of power and PSI and, you know, torque that Wilder is putting on the punches. I don't really think it matters how, how much you, um, train and stuff like that. The human skull is not going to be meant to accept that that type of power and punishment so i don't know we're gonna see we're gonna see what happens um but once again this makes old media look crazy all that oh old man old man ortiz talk the man looks in shape he looked ready and to be honest tyson fury look older than him you know maybe it's from the drug the drug and partying and stuff but like if you look at body types and and stuff like that Tyson Fury, so he has the body of a 20-year-old. Man, this man, Luis Ortiz, look ready. Y'all better stop playing with me. Let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. I can't wait. It's a great fight. It's going to be a, uh, it's gonna be an event. It's going to be a movie. I'll be there. Las Vegas, stand up. What's popping? West Coast. Let me know what you guys think. Drop your thoughts in the comment section. 
we work. So if you enjoyed this video and want more content like this on the channel, you can show your appreciation by going to the PayPal donate button or the YouTube support button, and you can donate any amount that you feel is equivalent to the value of this video. Much more to come. Thank you guys for your support. Boxing Ego, the future of boxing.